Hey guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be starting a new colony in RimWorld. If you've never heard of this game, that's really too bad. It's one of my favorite games of all time, even though I'm really not very good at it. I have been obsessed with this game lately. I've spent pretty much all of my free time playing it. I thought it was about time that I share this great game with you guys. There's really no easy way to describe this game. The main goal is pretty much to have your colony survive long enough to make it off of this deserted planet. But really this game is a story generator which is what makes it so much fun. You are never gonna have the same experience twice. I do have all three DLCs, but we're only going to be playing with the newest one, which is the biotech DLC. Having all three enabled at once makes it kind of complicated. So we're just not going to play with royalty or ideology right now. Maybe in the future, we could do another colony and play with those ones too, but for now, we're just going to do biotech. So we are going to start a new colony, the Crash Landed. Crash Landed. We review awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. Your faction will be a new arrivals. Start with three people. If you know nothing about this game, that means nothing to you, but that's okay. One of the absolute best things about this game is the AI storytellers. So there are three different AI storytellers and you can change at any time. The AI storyteller creates events like pirate raids, resource drops, or animal attacks. Your choice will affect the story of your colony. So you have Cassandra Classic. She pretty much just ramps up the difficulty as you go and is pretty consistent with events. Baby Chillax has a long time in between events, but her events are always very difficult. And the last one is Randy Random. He will throw events at you anytime, any difficulty. In some ways, he's the hardest, but also the most fun. So we are going to use Randy. There are also six difficulty settings. I'm going to go with adventure story. There's room to grow and thrive, but it's still a dangerous planet. Really never know how this game is going to go, but I think I want a little bit of difficulty. So we will try on adventure story and we are going to use commitment mode because it's better to not go back after bad events. So now we can create our world. Let's randomize a good seed. Corn cob. Perfect. Let's go with 100% so we have plenty of places to choose. I have a bunch of mods enabled. They don't do a lot to change gameplay. Mostly they just add a little bit. I don't think that any of these things are really cheaty. Okay. So we are going to try to find a nice temperate forest. This one has a river right here. This might be good. It has marble, granite, and sandstone. Year-round growing period. Average temperature is 63 degrees. No pollution nearby. Actually, we probably want somewhere with hills. It's more important than water. Don't want mountains, though. This, this looks like a good place. Large hills. Marble, granite, and sandstone. Average temperature, 73.2 degrees. Year-round growing period. No pollution. Now we get to choose our three starting colonists. Everybody will have different skills. Some people will have health problems. This guy has an ambrosia addiction. Definitely don't want to deal with that right now. He is also incapable of firefighting, so this guy really needs to go. Let's find somebody good. So we want all of our starting colonists to be pretty good at shooting. We don't want anyone who is incapable of dumb labor because we need people to haul and clean. Regina Dumbo Weaver, level nine shooting. She's level 10 medical and five intellectual. The passion for all three of those things. So she would be really useful. Let's hang on to her for now. So we need construction and cooking and plants, ideally. But they also have to be good at shooting. This can take a long time. But it's worth it to find good colonists. Wait a second. They're all, all three of these people are related. Is that how I should start this story? With a family? Never done anything like that before. Not great at construction, cooking, or mining. Oh, Lester is her stepson. Sun. Let's let's try this. Three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn.
torn apart. Some time later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. But first of all, I have to take a pause. Let's see what we have here. It's not a bad map. Not super easy to defend, but that's okay. We can work with it. First thing we need to do is come up here and allow all of this stuff. So we are going to let the colonists move that stuff around. Ooh, what pet do we get? A Rottweiler, Xena. That's great. I love having dogs. Crawford, you can have the knife. Dumbo, Dumbo is the best shooter. So Dumbo, you can have the rifle. And Hogan, you can have the revolver. Now we're just going to get some things started before we unpause. Let's start a growing zone. They're not very good at growing, so we're going to have to get right on that. Um, this is a weird patch, so we'll just do that. We're going to plant some rice, then we're going to go to structure, and we're just going to build a big room. Put a door here. So this is going to be our like main, main building room for now. We're just going to put everything in there. We're going to put some beds and we are going to give Dumbo and Hagen a double bed. Pretty sure Xena is too big for an animal sleeping box. So we'll just put a sleeping spot in here. Let's set everybody's priorities. Firefighting is number one always. So is being a patient. Dumbo is the only doctor we have, so hopefully nothing happens to her. Bed rest is also number one. Childcare is going to have to be Dumbo if she has any children. Who wants to do the cooking? I have Dumbo be our cook for now. Crawford is going to prioritize constructing. Hagen is going to prioritize growing and plant cutting. And Crawford will also be a researcher when we get around to that. Also need a stockpile zone. We're just going to put it right in this building for now. We'll just put everything in there. Also put a dumping stockpile zone uh, just like right here for all of our trash. Okay, I think we're ready to start now. Need colonist beds. Well, we're working on that. We can deconstruct that. Ship chunk. Get some components out of that. Oh, Hagen is working on the plant cutting right away. Getting to work on growing the rice. Is this? Hedgehog. Oh my gosh, it's a red panda. We have to tame the red panda. No handler can tame the red panda. It requires level 7 and animals. Dumbo only has level 3. What about the hedgehog? Can we tame the hedgehog? Fire's level 5. Raccoon? Fire's level 7. I don't really want a squirrel. Or a rabbit. Or a turtle. That's okay. We'll have more animals eventually. Can we train Xena? Of course, Xena is a Rottweiler. So we can train Xena to guard, attack, rescue, and haul. That will be extremely useful. We also need to set how they will react to nearby enemies. I'm going to make everyone attack. That way, if they get attacked by a wild animal or something, they won't just run away. I'll try to kill it. Hagen's taking a break to do some cloud watching. Crawford and Dumbo are hard at work. That's okay, Hagen. Oh, what is he doing now? Now he's eating. Let's harvest all of these bushes around. Get some berries and also some heal root. We can have some super basic medicine. They've gotten a lot done today. They didn't quite finish everything. They made some good progress. Oh, Crawford's already up, ready to work. Hoggins back on plant duty. Let's build a table with some dining chairs. They have a place to eat. Let's also get a research bench and a stone cutters table. We want to be able to do research so that we can build more advanced things and we need a stone cutters table so that we can start making things out of stone and not wood. Oh no, there's a cougar. We need to kill it so it doesn't kill Xena or one of the colonists. Really dangerous though. Okay, we need to get everybody out here. Take care of this. Oh, it's so dangerous. Cougar mm. revenge. That's okay, we got this. Oh, nice! Uh, good job. Back to work, everyone. That went so much better than I thought it was going to. Crawford failed while constructing a wooden dining chair. Some resources have been wasted. Crawford, you're better than this. Disease, muscle parasites. Two of your colonists have gotten sick from muscle parasites. 
Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure they get proper treatment and spend as much time in bed as possible. Hagen and Crawford have gotten muscle parasites. Well, it's a good thing that Dumbo is our doctor and can take care of muscle parasites. That's really annoying though. Parasitic creatures in the muscles. These cause weakness and a lack of coordination. That's just what we needed to start the colony. Dumbo is idle. Dumbo needs more things to do. She can start cutting the rocks. Medical treatment needed. Dumbo, tend to Crawford, please. Start chopping down some wood. Dumbo, I need you to be doing something useful. I need you to start cutting some wood. Hagen is taking forever. He is really not very good at plants. Still hasn't finished this yet. I did not mean to make a steel table. That's fine. Okay, Crawford, please build the stone cutters table. Perfect. Okay, now we can add a bill. Make any stone blocks forever. Looks like we have a lot of granite, so let's make some granite blocks. Prioritize that. Dumbo, you are going to learn how to do some stone cutting. Oh, we have some visitors. That's nice. Now we have some granite blocks. So we're going to build a freezer. I'm going to do something like this. Crawford, why are you sleeping? Oh, muscle parasites. Can Dumbo mine? Maybe Dumbo should do some research, actually. I don't even have a research project. First thing is solar panel. For now, though, we are just going to use a wood fire generator. And we're just going to stick it right here. It's not very good, and we're not going to use it for long-term power. But for now, it should be just what we need. We're going to put a couple coolers over here. So, you know, Crawford, whenever you feel up to building these things, that would be great. Let's put a torch in here. There we go. Now we have a little bit of light. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Hagen thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? I'm really not very good at naming things. The Treaty of Bonham. I like that. Hagen also thinks that you should give this settlement a name. What should this local settlement be called? Onionville. Your faction is now known as the Treaty of Bonham, and this community is now known as Onionville. Oh wow, look at our rice. We really need to get going on this freezer. Okay, so Crawford is working on that. Okay, so now we're gonna make like a cooking room. We are going to set these coolers to like negative six degrees. So that way it'll freeze everything in this room. Let's create a new stockpile zone and we are going to only allow food and on this stockpile zone we are going to not allow food so eventually they should move all of the food from here into our new freezer area wooden generator oh also so this is going to be area one and xena is only allowed in area one so this area right here is the only place that xena is allowed to go we will allow xena now we can add bills to the electric stove. Okay, so cook simple meals. We are going to do until we have like 15. So that's five for each colonist. Crawford need medical. These muscle parasites are eating up all of our medicine. We're going to have to start researching drug production here pretty soon. Logan, can you fill the generator? There we go. Okay, still gonna take Crawford. A little bit finished building the walls now dumbo can start cooking that's great everyone's probably gonna get food poisoning it's not exactly a very sterile place to be cooking and at least put some concrete down that'll help a little bit look at all this rice we have now though let's start another growing zone though do like this and let's plant some corn hey hagen oh no we're being raided okay everyone let's Get ready. Don't have any defenses yet. I'm just gonna have to kind of wreck everyone. This guy only has a steel club though, so we should be okay. Dumbo is a really good shooter. So Dumbo, over here. You have to get in range. He's way down here. Come on. Why is he running away? It's so annoying. Dumbo, you got this. Oh, nice shot. Oh, wow. She's a really good shot. Oh, got him. Good job, Dumbo. Didn't need to worry about that. Got a good trader. Who's our best at social? It's Dumbo. Oh no. Crawford. Crawford. Let's see what they have to trade. Let's start a graveyard for everyone who 
tax us. We'll just put it like over here. We could buy an alpaca, bean packs. I really want to play around with this stuff. So we need to get this colony advanced enough to be able to play around with jeans. Heart, we could just buy a heart. Oh, we don't have enough money for that. Prosthetic arm. Architect leg. Artificial leg built by an architect. Looks and feels like natural flesh, but a pair of these can move the user as fast as a decent car and is harder to damage than plasteel. Even if it is harmed, it repairs itself over time. Its internal workings are a mystery to all human minds. Interesting. Gold. Tube television. Flat screen television. Okay, I don't really want any of these things. Crawford. Can you build this grave real quick? Ooh, the raider had 92 silver silver on him. We will for sure take that. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize this. Dumbo is a hard worker and Hagen is lazy. So they don't like each other because of that. But they are best friends and I think that's adorable. We need to get them a room so that we can start um, having babies. These muscle parasites are really getting annoying. Crawford, I need you to get better so you can actually be productive. We do need some recreation though. Let's build a horseshoe pin out here. Solar panel research finished. Okay, now uh, let's research battery. And that means we can now build some solar generators. Let's put a couple like right here and move the power over this way. We'll keep the wooden generator for now until we have batteries. Crawford has gotten food poisoning from simple meal cause dirty cooking area. Knew that was going to be an issue. It's okay though. It'll be fine. Wouldn't be a bad idea though to have a couple medical beds. I hope nobody really needs a medical bed. We are running really low on steel. There's a bunch up here though. A wanderer joins. A child named Zivos has arrived and wants to join the colony. He is willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily, claiming to have nowhere else to go. You can choose to turn him down and send him away. However, your colonists will be disturbed at sending someone away in need. Zivos is a child of 10 years. Well, of course we have to accept him. People arrived. What? Wait, what? 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 What the heck is Zivos? Ifrit. Modified strain of the impid xenotype designed as shock troopers. Obsessed with fire and almost immune to heat. Um, okay. So this child that we have now adopted, I think is like a devil. This child might actually be the devil. Um, is a pyromaniac and capable of firefighting. Um, okay. Well, um, oh, look at his genes. Heat immunity, greater fire spew, detonation, acidic blood, slow wound healing, fire obsession, very unhappy, demon horns, devil eyes, demon ears, demon tail, demon wings, hyper aggressive, cold weakness. Oh gosh. Okay, well, I guess we just have to learn to live with our new demon child. Let's make this not a medical bed, I guess. Zivos, this can be your bed. Having the power maniac shouldn't be too bad as long as we don't build our base out of wood. Oh goodness. Okay, so let's see. Zivos, what are you good at? He's really good at melee. He has a passion for a lot of things, actually. Zivos, Viva Ross. Hey, Zivos. Um, patient, for one priority, he can doctor. I don't know if we want that addressed. The passion for social warden. Let's have you be a constructor and a crafter. That'll be useful for the colony. The Crawford isn't the only one building things. Well, Zivos is sky dreaming. That's nice. Zivos is a child though, which means he needs to learn stuff. So let's see. Blackboard. Um, Crawford, can you deconstruct this, please? It's kind of in the way. Massive ship chunk. Shrink the zone a little bit. Then put a blackboard right here and a school desk here, some chairs. Hopefully we can keep little Zivos happy because if he has mental breaks, he could cause some serious destruction to the colony. Make this bed medical. Search finished for battery. Let's research sterile materials real quick. Crawford, are you almost done with the freezer? We are 10 days in now and you still haven't finished should make some more 
simple meals though. Let's keep 20 on hand. Oh look, Seaboss is drawing on the floor. He drew a heart. What a cute little demon child. We can build some batteries now. Let's just go like this. Oh look at little Seaboss helping. The freezer finally finished. Oh, we still have to build the roof. Now do we have a freezer? Refrigerated. Raid from the Pollution Society. Hey everyone, let's get ready. Um, Zivas, you too, because, um, you're scary. Hopefully, he doesn't have to get involved, but it'd be nice to have him as backup. Oh, this guy is fast. Dumbo, watch out. Hagen, watch out. That guy's so fast. Okay, good job, everyone. Hagen, are you hurt too bad? He has a bruise on his head. Why was that guy so fast? Oh, he was a teenager. Makes me feel bad. Well, let's build another grave animal disease. Xena has gotten sick. Xena has the flu. Dumbo, can you end to Xena? Oh no, there's a fire. Everybody, get up, extinguish the fire. There's a fault and an electrical current. Oh no, Dumbo, are you okay? Right arm burn, right foot burn, left middle toe burn. Oh boy. Well, it seems like Hagen at least is getting better at planting. Dumbo is fully healed. That's great news. Maybe we could put another door right here. That might be useful. Flash storm. Freak localized flash storm is striking a small area with lightning. This can cause massive fires. Okay, well, that seems like the perfect place to leave this episode. We will let future Tinkwa and the colonists of Onionville deal with that. We are just barely getting started with this colony, and hopefully we have a long future with the colonists of Onionville. So if you are not already, be sure to subscribe so you see whenever new episodes come out. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.